you feel like work is bleeding into home, which is bleeding into work. First of all, there is no separation. Um, we are under the same roof with each other 24-7. We're used to having the separation. Everyone is home. Their two kids are learning online. Charlie and Natalie Seal have been working from home since mid-March, and it is quite a challenge. I bug her more than she bugs me. Sharing a home workplace is not easy. She, I was banished within two weeks of talking too loud on the phone. She was like, you've got to go upstairs. You, you're just too loud. All I would hear was his voice in my head. I'm on a conference call, he's on a conference call, he's a very loud talker. <laughs> so I find myself like going in and motioning for him to be quiet. Now one kid is in the basement, the other upstairs. Charlie and Natalie are on the same floor but in different rooms. Carrie Etheridge is the director of social work for Shepherd Pratt. She says many couples don't work in the same office, building or same company and all of a sudden having your own life has disappeared. I've heard everything from it's bringing people a lot closer to it's bringing people a lot farther apart. Again, I think it goes back to creating with your partner an honest and real conversation and not being scared to have those conversations. Hey, you're driving me a little nuts. Adding to that, something like I need you to not bother me from three to four, or I'm going to go for a drive. Little things like that during normal times would seem sort of ridiculous. Right now, I think are keeping everybody together. Um, but again, it's not pretending everything's okay. Etheridge says it's about figuring out what each person needs and doing it. That's what the SEALs have done. Do I need to go somewhere or do you need to go somewhere? What, what can I do to make this easier? I've been like, I love you but you have got to move or you have got to go to another area of the house or I, I need you to go to the store and get something. <laughs> like whatever, whatever we can do sometimes to create that separation um, or I'll say, I just, I need some alone time. Both Charlie and Natalie say leaving things unsaid would create a tension between them. So they are making communication and honesty a priority. Lisa Robinson, WBAL TV 11 News.